um good we are in the afternoon good afternoon today is the uh i believe is the 20th of july 2021 the time right now is about 206 2 p.m 06 yeah i want to speak briefly about the attitudes that we transfer the attitudes that we you know display and the ones that we transfer to the next generation or to our friends or how we relate with our friends you know there are some ground behaviors that we have inherited this is the point here we have inherited them or we or some way imbibed them from somewhere where we're coming from from our homes from our past um jobs or relation some form of relationship okay um, um how do we transfer or what behaviors do we transfer to the next generation let me make children the example direct example even though i'm going to relate to um colleagues at work i'm going to relate to that in some way um about our children there was this story i i heard about this story and i hope when i tell it i'll be 100 percent accurate but if i'm not 100 percent accurate then the point i'm making is the same it's the same there was this new couple husband and wife new who are just um, moved into an apartment and on one particular occasion the new wife was trying to make to grill some chicken um, let me use the word let me use the, the scenario of a fish now fish okay it was actually talky I remember it was talky it was actually talky um, the real story um, and so the young woman put it in a you know the pan and then slot it into the oven but before she did that she had to cut from the head of the neck she had to cut a major part of that turkey off and it was a part that the husband the new husband thought was relevant he needed it i mean there's nothing wrong with it you know it's the part that you know he hits and then the wife is cutting it off to slot into the um into the oven so the curious young man asked why did you cut that hair that that part off and she said well i don't know i used to see my mother cut the same thing off um and i learned it from my mother and the guy asked why did your mother why was your mother cutting that part off she said i don't know maybe she learned it from her mother so they put a call through to her mom to say yeah mom when you cut this part of the turkey off before you put it in the oven why were you cutting and she said i don't know i saw my mom do it and i i learned it from her oh really your mom is alive mom three now let's call her so they called you know grandma grandma why did you call this part of the turkey off i don't know i saw my mom do it and i did it oh really so let's find out from your mom mom four why she cut off and then they called mom four and mom four said oh, oh i cut that part off because the oven that we had was a small oven and if i didn't cut that part off it's not gonna fit in so i had to just cut that part off save it for another time and then let's just eat this part of the turkey oh 
that's the reason why great grandma was cutting turkey a major part of turkey because the oven so let's look at years back where the ovens are bigger but daughter four now is taking a life a style a habit from mom four that didn't apply in generation four it didn't apply and i'm using the word didn't apply in, in other words it, it, that habit is irrelevant useless no one needed to apply that tactics but because she saw it being done she thought it was okay for it to go on so what you do how you live your children are looking at you they are not listening to what you're saying they're just watching what you're doing it is foolery i'm not sure there's a word like that i wanted to say foolishness i don't but bible says don't call anybody fool you know so don't let me use that this foolery there may not be a word like that for anyone to say don't worry what i'm doing my children will not do it i'm just doing it because there's a reason why i have to do this you're fooling yourself you're just teaching the next generation to be defective if you are defective that's if you are defective i remember pastor taiwo dukoya said something she said he said i plead with you if you know you are defective please don't pass it on don't pass it on you should be loving enough of the next generation to ensure that the things that you saw were wrong you don't move it you don't force them to live it as a life do you get so now what are the you know i had a colleague who told me once i said um we wanted to apply a particular lifestyle this is a lifestyle that i knew the way i live in my home is the way i live in my social environment is the way i live in my official in my my you know official environment is same way everywhere so something happened in the office and i said oh we can't live it this way now let's leave let's do it right i said no 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 when it comes to my work put that bible aside that's what she said i remember she said don't just put that bible aside when it comes to my work oh, put that bible aside what does that mean like i'm double faced or i'm a double character i live differently at home i live differently at work i live differently among what kind of like seriously what kind of life is that one i don't get it i know that when some of us hear words like this we wonder oh it's not true there can't be anybody like that well i worked with one i worked with one let's put that bible aside let's deal with it brutally was in my lifestyle it better be the same everywhere but that is what she did put moral lifestyle aside and be brutal at work now if i was going to use that kind of lifestyle that are let me assume or let's excuse her a bit to say that maybe there had been some reaction or behavior or attitude or incidents at work that pardon me that warranted that you should be brutal there might have been and by being brutal wouldn't mean that you were wrong after all the jesus that we follow beat some people out of the um out of the synagogue he whips them so would you let's pick that let's pick it out and say would it be right to whip people in certain conditions i.e would it be right to be brutal in certain conditions maybe so would you want to apply that on everybody or on every situation of course not 
of course not that wouldn't be right that wouldn't be proper so whatever lifestyle or habit that we want to live try to make it do a check where is it coming from and why i'm a very you know inquisitive person very very inquisitive even me i wonder the way i ask questions if you tell me oh this is the way it's done i'm going to ask you who started it who, t- who said it <laughs> who said it must be done that way where is it written form of asking you for evidence or form of asking you for reason why and how what's the beginning you know if you know the it's far better to do, know the why of something than to know the how everybody can drive a car if you just learn how to drive you should know how to drive a car but why should i drive it why there's got to be a reason you know so um let's say simply so i don't make it too long okay before i begin to say there's a lifestyle i'm bringing up to apply somewhere ask yourself where is it coming from why am i going to do this why should i apply this some of us in life are living the lives that don't even belong to us we're borrowing a life that does doesn't belong to us by any means it's just oh i saw this person do it so i'm doing it i saw it being done i did it i saw it being done i did it so you're not bringing the habit and the attitude that is irrelevant to the relationships that don't apply to where you're coming from they don't even know what you're talking about look at that husband talking about talking he just doesn't even understand what you're talking about it's coming from a different environment where you slot in everything <laughs> and you say you caught just because what after finding out you realize what it was because of the size i hope i've made something to say so questions to ask when you need to apply certain things oh this is what i know this is how i know to do it this is i this is how i know it's been done this is how i know it's been done why is it being done like that can there be a better way to do it remember this the best things in life can be better so look out for doing things better than the best way that you know how happy holiday to you and have a very very lovely rest god bless you bye